Oh, Kevin Jason. You told me happy Thanksgiving. Well, I rooted me. I didn't I didn't know. Well, happy belated Thanksgiving to you, buddy. Happy belated Thanksgiving to you and Jasmine. And I hope y'all didn't get too full off your turkey, off your pumpkin pie, off your cranberry, off your stuffing, off the gravy, the mac and cheese, the green bean casserole, the pumpkin pie, the cake, the ice cream. I mean, I hope you were watching the football games. I hope you, you know you were rooting for the Lions, rooting for the Cowboys, rooting for the Steelers. And if you weren't rooting for those teams, I hope you had your fantasy teams in check to where the top stars gave you the top points. But I'm sitting here remembering. I'm out here this morning. Lovely, lovely Sunday morning. Glorious Sunday morning. Thank the Lord for that. I'm out here, and I'm sitting there. Thinking about Haunted Massacre, the Blazers' phone house match. You did win that championship, albeit a little skullduggery behind it because Jasmine walks out with Derek Cripp's wife when Cripp could have won the title. Yes, you did say that. Keep your friends close, keep your enemies close. You know. I can't answer for Crip why he didn't have his wife though. But you know what? That's neither here nor there. That's not my business. But what is my business is the fact that after that, me and you was doing some drawing back and forth, some serious drawing back and forth. And the main thing you said, no matter what I came at you with, was back in line, Swagger. Back in line. Go to the back of the line. And I told you, I told you clear that I will go to the back of the line, but do not expect me to be back here for long, because I will be right back in front of you, trying to get that World Heavyweight Championship. Then against the odds come, you come out first, and you was last. I came out second. I didn't last that long, that's okay. I was part of the winning team. I give you props, Kevin. You stayed there the whole time. You was there the whole time from the start to the finish. I give you top props for that. But the props that I don't give you for is when you tapped out. Why? Not because Crip was tight and pet had that had that uh, grip on you like a vice and this was clenching it tighter and tighter. Not because you couldn't take the pain no more. And you decided to tap that, but it's because your sweet Jasmine was down by that ring sign. You looking at her, and she's crying, she's screaming, she's hollering for you to get up. She's hollering for you to give up. Her face is turning red because she's hollering for you to give up. The tears are streaming down, screaming, making up mascara looking worse than Tammy Faye Baker, saying, "Kevin, give up, please give up." I saw that on a monster and I realized that she wasn't down for the cause. When you tapped out, that made me realize you wasn't down for the cause. Because if you really wanted control of EWO, if you wanted Team Jasmine to be the shit in EWO, you wouldn't have tapped out. You would have dug deep. You would have got out of that, out of that hole. And you would have found it some way, somehow, to win that match. Skullduggery, maybe. But you would have found a way. You've done it before. You'd have done it again. Now, let me go back to what I just said earlier. Really, I don't have to. Because on December 17th at Final Stand 3, you will be facing the outlaw, Ralph Swagger, for the EWO World Heavyweight Championship. A championship title opportunity that got awarded to Derek Cripp by Mr. Lopez. But Derek said, no, give it to him. He's more deserving. This is probably, this is probably going to be his last stand. And yes, the final stand three will be Ralph Swagger's last stand. And I'm going to make it a memorable one. I'm going to make it a historic one. And it's going to be a bad one for you. This time, three is not going to be your magic number. Talk about what you did in Final Stand 2. I really don't care. I really don't give a shit because Final Stand 2 is in the past. Haunted Massacre is in the past. What else is in the past? 
the last match we was in was in the past. Against the odds was in the past. All that's in the past. Now it's in the future. And the future is going to be dark. And the future is going to be bleak for you, Kevin Jason. Because you are looking at the final days of your run as EWO champion to be over. Because I am coming. This revolution is not going to be televised. It's going to be live, living color, and in your face. Because you knew after Haunted Massacre, and you knew your future was going to be faced with me in it. Me coming after you for this title. This prestigious title. And like I said, you know, yeah, I'm retiring. I'm leaving. You can see the gray hairs here. Hell, you can see the gray hairs on my head looking like black poly walnuts from the Sopranos. And you can look into these damn eyes. Yeah, I've seen a lot in my career. And I might not walk straight. I might have a little limp. My speech, if I get stirred a little bit, I might drag my feet sometimes. But you know what? My old man, I still can fight. I can hold my own. And I definitely can beat you from pillar to post and take that title from you. And you can sit there and talk about leaving me a cripple. You can talk about hurting me. You can talk about taking me out. People have tried to do that, and I'm still here. I'm still standing. Still strong. So what the hell are you going to do? What the hell are you going to do that's different from anybody else that tried to take me out? Not a damn thing, Kevin. I done took, every, I done took everybody's shots, and I'm still here. I done looked the devil in his eyes, and I done winked at him, and I said, you, it's not time for me to be here yet. And he's agreed. That's why I'm not there with him. Hell, even God Almighty himself knows that I'm still capable of taking anybody out in EWO, including you, including Crip, Crip, Will Wagner, fucking care of that racist motherfucker. Anybody. Now, for a man to be the top dog in EWO, for a man that's on the top, longest reigning champion, why are you, why are you not on the uh, build, on the poster board for the final final uh, for the final you know final sand three stumbled in my words a little bit but that's all right why why are you not the top man the top man in ewo you're not even on the poster board for final stand three why is that i mean is it because you ain't got control of the company like you and jasmine was going to have is it going to be is it because the company don't have that trust in you or the company don't give a damn about you for someone who sit there and say that but someone who sit there and say that yeah i just one of my neighbors just came by well someone who sit there and say that i know it sound like a broken record say that they the best you're not on there maybe the company don't have trust in you you know I can't do anything about that. I know one thing I can do. And that on December 17th, four days after I turned 47, I'm going to get that World Heavyweight Championship opportunity. And I'm going to defeat you for the World Heavyweight Championship. Because of the simple fact that you done had this ass whooping coming for a long time for me. And you're finna get it. No matter what. From my days in, in, in Asylum World Wrestling, in AWW, to, to, to now, I done fought the best in the world. I done lost to the best in the world. I done got beat by the best in the world. The best in the world tried to take me out, but I'm still here. You can sit there and say, try to say all those things about what, what you're going to do to me. They're mere words, Kevin Jason. I know you're a top competitor. I know... You're one of the best in the world, but the best in the world can be beat. No one stays champion for a long ass time. It has been proven. And on December 17th, 2016, I am going to make Final Stand the most historic, glorious, best pay, best pay review in EWO because I'm coming in with a head of steam. I'm coming in with a wave of momentum. I'm coming in with something that you would never have. 
you might have that drive, you might have that ability, you might have Jasmine, but you know what? I do have that inner strength. I do have the gumption. I got what it takes to be on, get on top and stay on top. And you can sit there talking about, I might be the shell of my former self, but you know what? I'm going to take that shell and I'm going to beat your ass with it. And you're going to find out who the outlaw truly is. And why I'm walking out the new EWO Warhead Way Champion. Better believe that.